She got her own house. She got her own house. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got her own house. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So it is 2022, so new year, new NACA. Let's talk about it. I would just like to say happy new year to each and every one of you. And for everyone that watches this, it is my prayer that you have blessings, health, prosperity, peace, healing, everything that your heart desires in 2022. So I did want to come to you guys with a quick update video, more of a reminder video. Um, like I said, this will be a quick video. I did contract COVID-19 over the holiday, um, but thankfully I am fine, but please continue to keep me and my family lifted up in prayer. But I did want to get on here and remind everyone that it is now a new year. So that means that you need to pay your NACA membership dues. I don't know if you received the email from Bruce Marks right before Christmas. I will flash that on the screen right now. But he did send out a reminder um, to go on to your web file and pay your 2022 membership dues. Now, I have recently reattended a home buyers workshop and they said on there that if you have closed already, you no longer have to pay your membership dues. I um, have not seen that in writing anywhere, but that is indeed what they said. Um, and so I have reattended more than one home buyers workshop and it has been said more than one time. So I just want to put that out there. But if you do not know where to go, just go under the payments tab in your web file and then you will need to have your banking account information. OK, and by that, I mean checking uh, account number and routing number. If you don't know your routing number, it's based on the state and your bank. So you can just look it up for whatever state in your bank you have. And it'll be the same for everybody. Um, and I've seen the, this question a bunch, but for check number, just do zero, 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 everybody, okay? Don't think that um, you have to actually have a physical check and void it out. Um, now, if you do choose to go that route, be sure that you do void that check out and um, throw it away or shred it or whatever so that you don't reuse it in the future. But I just... Um, put in zero 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 and then as you can see you want to do membership only um, if you know that you have an appointment coming up and it is time for NACA to pull your credit again then maybe go ahead and just pay your membership dues and pay for your credit pool um, so that you won't have to go back in and try to remember to do this again I do want to point out as you can see that it is going to take NACA two to three weeks to withdraw the money from your account. So don't think that just because you go in today and you put in your information, that NACA is going to take your information today. It is going to be two to three weeks from the date that you put it in. But also once you see, once you submit everything, once you check the box and submit everything, you're going to immediately see where you have paid your membership dues. As you can see, I just did mine today and it is already showing up on my history. So I am good to go. And to my knowledge, there is no way for me to cancel or terminate this payment. Um, I have not tried to call member services before to see, but if anyone has had um, any experiences with maybe, um, you know, your appointment needing to be canceled and so you no longer wanna pay for your credit report, um, or your credit pool, then you can call NACA and see if they can terminate it. But there's no way for you to do it here on your web file. Um, worst case, you can just call your bank and put a stop payment on it. But yes, guys, if I forgot anything, I apologize. You know the drill. Jump down in the comments and let's talk about it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video because it takes a village. Cheers.